Folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. Excited to talk to you about the new 2018 A-Liner from Somerset. I got some really cool stuff I'm going to show you about this one. Of course, we're on the off-door side, which you can see a storage door in the front. That's going to be under the dinette booth. You'll have another one on the other side. You see the refrigerator vents. You have your outdoor shower, which is going to give you hot and cold. That's your furnace exhaust there. You see your cable and electric hookup. And there's your water hookup there. Or your fresh water, uh, if you fr fill your fresh water tank. And then, of course, you have your water heater. You see the nice uh, stone guard on the back side, along with the uh, spare tire. The nice oversized uh, stabilizer jacks on here. You see you have the uh, lift assist on both the camper itself and the uh, dormers. This one has the hard dormers. Now I do have this same model here in stock with the soft dormers. But what's really cool about what they've made the change is this air conditioning system. We're going to talk about in just a bit when I get inside. But now this one has a 3,500 pound uh, gross vehicle weight rating. And you see the dry weight is about 2,200 pounds. Tongue weight, now it's showing you 241, but keep in mind, you don't have your propane bottles or your battery up here. So once you add that, you can probably, you're gonna be about another 100 pounds of tongue weight that you're gonna to add to that. See on the door side, I have the AC running, and listen how quiet that AC is. So this is gonna take up a little bit of room up underneath the back uh, sofa area but that is where that is stored now and I'll show you how that works once we get inside I think it's gonna do a much better job you can see on this door side you're gonna have that's an LP uh, quick disconnect so if you have a grill or something the door right here that is for emptying the toilet that's on the inside and you see you have 110 outlets out here we did not option in the outside stereo speakers on this particular one but uh, that is something that you could do. So let's take a look as we come inside here. I'm just gonna kind of back up so you get a better view of, of the whole camper here. So you see I have that AC running. You can barely even hear it. And it's about 80 degrees today. And it's already, I've only had it on for about 10 minutes and really can feel the difference in here. So you see you're gonna get a microwave in this one. This has the refrigerator. It's the Dometic refrigerator and you're going to have a little freezer in here as well. So you have a little freezer compartment. So this is about a three and a half cubic foot um, refrigerator. This is going to give you, you're going to be able to put this on for 110 for propane or for battery. Now the battery setting on this is specifically for when you have it charged enough. So that is the refrigerator. You can see your, of course, your microwave, the furnace. This is your two burner cooktop right here. You have the glass cover for it. The nice glass cover for the sink with the pull up faucet. And of course you can see the sofa that turns into a bed in the back. Some people just keep it, just keep it folded out as a bed. And some people like to maybe use it as a sofa during the day. See counter space here, but then you have storage up underneath it. Nice big cabinet. And of course you can see how they set that up for you for storage. Give you some room. And of course this is where your toilet is. So you can go ahead and move that up out of the way. You have a little cable to hold that. But that is the toilet area. So you can keep it out of the way if you wish and use the additional counter space so you see the dormers what that does for you gives you a ton more of headroom and then of course when you look towards the front when you're sitting at the dinette booth that's much much larger for you you see you have uh, there's a 12 volt fan in the roof so you know even a day like today if you wanted to you could open the windows and turn that on and that would just pull the air right on through so here is how you would work the the AC system. Just a little push button remote. Right now it's 72.8 degrees here in here and see it's going down as we speak. The furnace control is going to be on this side. If you want to hook a TV up, there's your TV connection 
and of course your box for your breakers and fuses. So this is the 2018 Expedition by A-Liner. I hope you found this helpful. For more information on this particular uh, RV or any others, please do remember to ask for Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, when you call, if you email, if you stop by, remember Paul. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again shortly.